Sometimes we Blender users take Suzanne the monkey for granted, do you? Well, today we're not. So in order to appreciate Suzanne, we're going to cover the monkey in gold. Yeah, like what we're seeing right now. Well, let's go. First, we need to set up the basics, which include deleting everything and then adding Suzanne, a cube that should be scaled upward, and a UV sphere that is moved upward. And then add another cube that's moved to the bottom of the larger cube and scaled in the X and Y dimensions, so it's more flat. Now select the larger cube, go into the physics tab, select fluid, change the type to flow, and then domain type to liquid. Then change the resolution to 64, though plan on this being temporary, as a final value I ended up with the resolution of 384. The higher looks better, but it is slower. Now check mesh and set the type under cache to all, which should give you this bake option, which we will definitely be coming back to. Now select the UV sphere that we added a little bit ago, go to the physics tab, select fluid, this time change the type to flow, and then flow type to liquid. While testing this water like gold, I realized I wanted an object to actually remove this substance, which is what that cube is that we added earlier. To make this actually work, we need to make sure that we add the fluid, then fluid type as flow, flow type as liquid, and finally flow behavior as outflow. Now to make sure that Suzanne will actually affect the liquid, go into the physics tab, select liquid, but this time type to effector. By the way, if the effector isn't entirely working, as in the liquid is going through an ear, be sure to come back and change the surface emitter to a little larger value, something like 0.8 or 0 0.08. That should help limit that issue. Now to bake, we are going to go back to that bake option I mentioned earlier by selecting the domain, going into the settings, and scrolling down. Hit the button and wait a little bit, and then you can hit escape if you want to see the liquid is working like you can see on mine. If it's not working, I'd recommend increasing the resolution, scaling the domain either smaller or bigger depending on how your scene is set up, or increasing the surface emission on a glide object or a flow object. But now with the fluid, if you want to change how thick or runny it is, the best setting is typically under diffusion, with the higher the exponent being runnier and the lower exponent being thicker. I personally wanted my gold to basically perform like water, even though that's not realistic, it's what I wanted. So I had an exponent of 8 and set the surface tension to 13.3. I also ended up going with lower gravity with a value of 0.775. I also realized I wanted an object the fluid had to escape, so I made that and used the same fluid settings as I used with Suzanne. So yes, an effector. Anyways, now we can bake the simulation in full. This is when I would increase the resolution. Again, mine was 384. I would also recommend checking is resumable, which is right below the type when going to bake it. This would just allow you to escape and make sure the fluid is working and is the right resolution. And then if it isn't, you can go change that and it's no big deals. But if it is right, then you can resume baking and it just takes less time. Anyways. Skipping ahead, my baking is now done, and let's make a quick material. I added a glossy material, changed the roughness and color to make it look more like gold. From there, I wanted to preview how it would look when rendered. So I set up a basic lighting scene and changed the render mode to cycles. This was looking okay, but I wanted some areas slightly darker, so I added a color ramp, a noise texture, scaled the noise way up, and put the color ramp mostly gold, but with a little bit of black. I then wanted to have the gold have a slight texture, so I added a bump, plugged it into the normal, and added a noise, and again scaled it way up and decreased the bump strength. And voila! It rendered like this, and it was all good. Well, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, and bye!